from Hollywood, California, Meltdown Comics. In the Meltdown showroom, Harmontown is now in session. I am your comptroller, Jeff Davis. Please welcome your dungeon master, Spencer Crittenden, to the stage. And now please welcome the mayor of Harmontown, Mr. Dan Harmon. Thank you. Jeff Davis, everybody. Oh, I was almost going to pull my phone out and put my drink down for a physical ritual that has long oppressed me, but I'm free now. Dan is presenting the audience his new uh, Apple Watch. What do they call it? Apple Watch? Yep. I only need to free a hand to swipe. <laughs> ever, ever note? Ever note? Boop. Here we go. Let's talk about Jurassic World. <laughs> or if you prefer, let's talk about the Apple iWatch. Or Apple Watch. <laughs> oh, Grandpa. No one calls them I anymore. Are you, are you, are you, Black are you, people aren't I people. <laughs> they sure are. They're aren't just Dan. people. They're not. They're just Apple people. They're just Apple people. <laughs> Remember when? A, we've talked about this eight thousand times. My grandparents think that the your grandparents probably too think that black people are supposed to be called colored people. That that is polite. You all roll your eyes at that. I roll my eyes at that. The National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, however, <laughs> bit of a pickle. <laughs> Stationary already ordered. <laughs> it's just a, one of those funny things that happens to did you, did you hear a about species. That, about that lady from was of it yeah, yeah, I, Well, I yeah. almost didn't. Yeah, I, I, uh, everybody. Yes, yeah. yes. The the the, the uh, leader of the Spokane, Washington chapter of the NAACP uh, was outed by her parents as being a tan white lady. After I don't know how many years. How many years? Do we know how many years she successfully? Ten. So there's all these weird, weird conversations that are happening, which are totally awesome and healthy, uh, especially in the midst of, uh, for instance, you know, the, the 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 transgender movement, which has everything to do with what you are born as does not define you, absolutely not. And then there's an equally like totally valid like. C clearly obvious observation that like if you were born as a blonde <laughs> blue-eyed lady you do not have the right to go to a tanning booth frizz your hair and then become the p say that you're getting hate mail because you're so black like um it, it it this is this is all good in my opinion this is all fantastic i mean yeah I, i'm sure other people have the right to be offended or care way more than i do as far as i'm concerned seems like fun <laughs> Oh, oh man! Fucking, why not? Everything's fun to us, yeah. Like, yeah, like, 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 yeah. We, we're, that's called privilege. Like, uh, I think that's what they mean when they say check your privilege. As long as we don't like get involved, we're fine. That's the new political correctness. We just get to say, "Fuck it," like, like that's that's us being the most open-minded we can be. What are you doing? I, it, Jane is here. Earthshine Jane. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Uh, what's your last name? Do you, you want your last name out there in the ether? Just Jane. Fine. Just Jane. Uh, er Earthshine Jane is, uh, is your Twitter handle, correct? Yep. Uh, n uh, aside from the fact that Jane has been the uh, purveyor and distributor for us of fine absinthe and an awesome booze, did you did you make this glass bottle too? I did not. I have a friend who's a master glass blower, though. Yeah, because I, de I designed it, but he made it. This is really good. This is fantastic. And so I have a bottle. Of I have. I mean. Sadly, I, I have the dregs of a bottle of uh, yeah, absinthe. The rest of it's in the decanter. Oh, oh, it's in here. You, yeah. You've broken it in half. I love it. Uh, Jane, <laughs> if, I, if I can do a, can I do a commercial for, for Jane's absinthe? I took this uh, absinthe of malice to a party, and I, I actually had about that much. I had about, like, maybe maybe a little bit more than that. Brought it to a party where I was dressed as David Bowie because it was a glam, a glam party. And you had a David Bowie costume. And I just had one laying around. <laughs> and uh, I took this to the party, and everybody there wanted to know how, how to get more of it. This stuff is really groovy, and it gets you high. Well, well so th why don't we find out how. J Jane, do you want to come up and talk, or no? It's cool, no. Uh, I can ask her. Yeah, well, well, there, well, there was hesitation there. Yeah, we're on video. Oh, okay, all right, no, okay, cool. 
fine. Good. Yeah. All great. We'll talk. We'll talk later on. That's great. That's the first yeah, time I, my my, my whole stick of like don't come up if you don't want to come up actually yeah. finally like. Because <laughs> I'm always saying it as the pr- I'm like, by the way, if you don't want to be exploited. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, also, there, there, there might be some sort of uh, agencies yeah. that might care about that. No, know. there's all kinds of shit that. Well, it was just ironically why, which is why there's a story to tell and why I want to talk to you eventually. But like, like, like I said, like tweet me when the adventure is over. Um, also, while, while we're thanking people for gifts, uh, this was sent to me. Apparently, it's been here for a month or two. Tweet me when the adventure's over. Uh, <laughs> I that's think the title of my book. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 my wake me for the weekend. I, I got this little gift backstage, Dan. It's from a, a person by the uh, hilarious name of Susan Shipper. And it was shipped to me first class uh, U.S. Postal. And I opened it up, and it's a, it's a Scottish ski and do, which is what you put in your Jesus sock if Christ. you're wearing a kilt. Did you mention it was through a rat? <laughs> I, I did not mention As that. As it came part. out of the envelope. But, so you're, it's like, it's, 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 Different it's, message. It's actually like it's a weapon. It's a knife that you keep in your sock if you're wearing a kilt. But then I was like, why would somebody give me that? And I looked at it. There's a little emerald on the side here. It's an emerald, emerald dagger. dagger. Emerald dagger. I love it. Do you think that's from, is that from a Scottish fan? Is the address in Scotland? Susan, Susan Shipper doesn't sound terribly Scottish, but I love it. What is the address? Is there a return address? Don't uh, say it out loud, but... <laughs> it, well, this Boy, the, okay. the, 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 the wholesale cutlery store in Arlington, Texas. All right, this watch is short. One of the shortcomings has to do with the settings I programmed into it. I'm, it vibrates my wrist every time someone tweets at me. <laughs> uh, every, 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 every time somebody uh, you know tweets you or anytime anybody tweets yeah. you? Yeah. Uh, well, no, I, I, you know, you set it up however you want. I made a mistake. Uh, I also immediately got all these games on my watch, so at any given moment it'll buzz and I'll go like, oh, that could be someone needs a kidney. No, Spymaster needs to know if he should face down these dogs. <laughs> yes or no. Do Boop. it. <laughs> There's like a, there's like these games on the for the watch that are so dumb that they're just they're basically just like some guy, like buzzes your watch, a fictional guy. To, Buzzes your watch every six hours to let you know he needs more training. Can you mine? Can you Minecraft? Can you can you craft? No, you mines? can't Minecraft. Everyone, stop b- making fun of me. <laughs> Which brings me to a new thing. I don't even mean that because I don't take it personally because that's one of the four agreements <laughs> by Don Miguel Ruiz, which uh, Aaron, my wife Erin McGathy turned me on to. The four agreements, Jeff. Uh, the audio book takes less time to listen to than this podcast, which I have not done yet, but uh, <laughs> I, I, got, I got into the first agreement, but the four agreements are, God damn this fucking watch. <laughs> Spencer, are you getting a watch? Shit. Oh, and now no. there's another fucking tweet. Yeah. Now, now people, of course, are tweeting me. It's like, <laughs> you guys are great. It's, it's like the Simpsons where they're all shocking each other. And I get it. You're amazing. <laughs> that, that's hilarious. Uh, doesn't, uh, I'm not going to judge you for it. I'm just going to say it doesn't take talent <laughs> to do what you're doing. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the just the digital equivalent of throwing a tomato. That's all it is. It doesn't take any talent. You're creating a culture of fear, which is what I've learned from this book. Uh, anyway, so the first agreement is uh, don't... Don't train raptors. No, I'm getting my notes mixed up. <laughs> the first of the four agreements is, and this is, the, this is the four agreements by Miguel Ruiz. So, you know, look it up. The audio book is 10 bucks, which is what you paid to get in here. It, ta- it is two hours long, so if you listen to, uh, I, anyways. What are the agreements? The agreements are, <laughs> well, what, what? first, can I explain what, what he means by agreement? Yes, please do. So, okay, so he starts with the cosmology that we, everything, everything that we're experiencing right now is a dream. Like, that's not new. Uh, there's a famous song r- r- about rowing boats. That, uh, <laughs> and, 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 and I'm not kidding, I was thinking about that on the way here. I'm like, God damn, they hide the secret in fucking plain sight. It's on the back of a cereal box. Life is but a fucking dream, motherfucker! And then, and then we watched The Matrix, and we're like, holy shit, yeah, row, row your boat. <laughs> I wanted to say the N-word so bad. <laughs> row, row your boat. You know, but uh, uh, the, 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 it's, it's li- life, li- we are all dreaming right now. We're all dreaming. We, we, if, you, the if, human if brain life, is. If life were but a dream, why not say the N-word after that? It's like, it's like, what's, what are the repercussions? Uh, because I don't want to pollute that dream for other people, because we're in a shared dream is that also. One, is that one of the agreements? 
Don't drop an N-bomb in someone else's drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take no, the first agreement is be impeccable with your word. And so that, that, that we'll get to that. All I right. need some work on that one. I'll probably die getting that one right. But uh, the, uh, the idea, the cosmology is we are all made of light. The uh. light between stars. It's easy to laugh at, young man. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he's not laughing at that concept. He's laughing at you fishing your way through this. Through this first year. You don't know him. <laughs> Trevor? He's, he, believe me, he's, he's laughing at the wrong shit. I've met him. He's three, he's three minutes from his next DUI. But his dad's a senator, and I'm not bringing him up. Uh, the, uh, we're all light. What is that? What is that? What's the implication of that? Why is that important? It's uh, no one's. Uh, it's just. Uh, it's a model of. Uh, of light. It's. Uh, it's not. What do you mean? Why is that important? Well, is it? Is that a necessary principle for the rest of the, uh, the agreements? I think so. Oh, okay. Sorry. But you could. You could probably do away with it after. I think. Because it never really comes back to. By the way, don't well, forget we're all I'm light. A, yeah, <laughs> like, that's like, what I'm asking. Well, is like, but, but I'm just, I'm just taking you through the guy's whole cosmology. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys like the format where we bring Spencer up before me? I thought that was a good choice. <laughs> like uh, thank you, thank you. Why are we saving him for dessert? I couldn't be more nervous. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it really puts a lot more I responsibility think, uh, on you. I have no you. idea. I, if Spencer is dessert, if Spencer's like the dessert cart laying off to the side of the table while you're eating this dinner. You, you, you're eyeing that cake the whole time. You get, to, you, you get to look at that delicious cake over there. Spencer, you're, you're like a sexy cannoli sitting over there. Just yeah. more. That sounds good. <laughs> There are some people who are, who are here for the first time, and they're wondering, why am I watching this? All right. So, and I'll tell you, it's for my book reviews. What are the goddamn agreements? <laughs> That's what I'm... Yeah. The cosmology is we're made of light, <laughs> and life is a dream. Like, we're all dreaming right now. You dream when you go to sleep, and, yeah, your dog also dreams, and he's like, eh, you know... The, 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 we're, we're, we're dreaming when we're awake, too, because this is all an illusion. Obviously, we, but it's, the difference between this dream and the one you have when you're asleep is simply the fact that this one's consistent, <coughs> which, mean, which makes you think it's more real, because uh, it will be here tomorrow, uh, but it also means it was here before you were born. It's, a, it's, a, it's still a, it's as artificial a reality as the ones that you have when you go to sleep at night. Life is a dream. We all share it. And that doesn't mean bad. It doesn't mean less real than important. It, it, just like to, just to put yourself in that space where you think of reality, everything that we're living right now as a dream, it kind of immediately sort of relaxes you. And like all the great myths that we've ever heard drive into that. All of the sacred texts like insinuate that, including the Matrix. Uh, <laughs> and Inception. <laughs> <laughs> um, you love it. You love it. I do. You do. This guy loves Inception. Wait, oh my God, the writer of Inception's here. So I glanced at you and I was like, holy shit, I bet you wrote Inception. Would you, would you stand up and prove, doesn't he look like you wrote Inception? He wrote Inception. Possibly. Yes. Or is it a dream? I think he also wrote For Whom the Bell Tolls. <laughs> I don't know if that was, I think that was a joke about the power you emanate. Uh, it's all a dream. We are indoctrinated in the dream by way of agreements. So from the moment you're born, you're making agreements. Your attention's getting hooked by your parents for good reason. They're telling you, this is how you live in this dream. This is what the alphabet is. You call that a door. You call that a doormat. You call that an elephant. You call that an apple. You, you, you have to... The, 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 the idea is that human beings are capable of experiencing a thousand things at once and, and, and of living as if we are living in a dream of constant contradiction and never being certain about anything. Our brains are designed for that chaos, but we won. We took over the earth and we have created a dream of very, very focused, very artificial things. And the, the, only, the, only, pro the only problem with it is that reality is, uh, it's, it's obscured by this smoke that we create between all of us. We're never actually, he says, uh, now granted I listened to this for a half hour and I turned it off, but, but uh, <laughs> we're made of light. Ma 
all all matter is 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 mirrors where it's reflecting the light. So every time you're looking at anything with your eyes, you're actually seeing something that's simply reflective of something else. You're not actually like you're not actually experiencing anything by looking at something. Like you so so we are all reflecting each other and we are all what what the the truth is right in front of us, but we have all been indoctrinated into a dream through these agreements that we make with society that teach you to sort of basically operate on fear, you know, like everything, you know, you're a good boy if you do this, you're a bad boy if you do that. Um, you're a really bad boy if you think that you're a girl. Ooh. Um, like, like, like you are, like, you, there's, no, there's all these rules. Like, you, you, you guys know I was being ironic when I said that. It's fucking know. generation. These, like, um, <laughs> This is, the, this is the flawed society I'm representing. God damn it, I hate these fucking kids. <laughs> then they, they trick you into explaining everything. And Dan, they're, they're just light. They're just light. <laughs> you're, you're light. You're light. You're light. You're light. You're light. Uh, it's all a dream. We're going to wake up when we die. It doesn't, when that, that, that has nothing to do with afterlife or anything. It's just to say that these, these and also these illusions about an afterlife, like the, the, the hell that we describe in Christian mythology, it, like, isn't it now? Like, is what the author says. Like, this world of fear and hate, and where anybody can do anything, where your neighbor might break in your door and eat you, or he might <laughs> reward you if you if you're a good enough boy or a bad enough boy. Like, like it, it's all driven by fear and prejudice and judgment, and and just like like constant pursuit of like pleasing other people and hooking other people's attention and having your attention be hooked by them when really what we are designed to do is just float and do all this stuff. So the, four, the idea of the four agreements is to wipe away all the agreements that you have made to get this far, wipe them all away and replace them with these four primary agreements. Number one. Okay. <laughs> Always? If you are par Number one. Now, the, f no, the, f the first three are traffic-oriented. What? Number one, one if you're parking uphill, always <laughs> turn your wheels to face the curb. Dan, does one of these uh, agreements have something to do with little shits and whether, <laughs> whether or not to sweat it? The first rule is, yeah, don't sweat the little shit. The second <laughs> agreement is, it's all little shit. Uh, the, the first agreement is... Don't right, talk about the it. four agreements. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay. I hope that I hope that's not I hope that's not in there. All right, let me just scroll through there. My, my watch, which I'm very happy I bought. Be impeccable with your word. All right, I'm working. I on like that. that one. Fuck you. It's Dan. That, that's not very impeccable. All right. What does that mean to be impeccable with well, your word? Well, do you want me to read the copy? It's short. <clears throat> These glasses, by the way, only work for far away. <sighs> Why not get my, Every, uh, my life is a dream. It's insane. It's an insane dream where I'm now wearing props to make people like me. <laughs> it's right. I have 20/20 vision, and I can. It's, it's, uh, why am I wearing these? To, uh, because people like me more in them. <laughs> now we don't. I fell into it. <laughs> now that we know it's all lies. <laughs> Be impeccable with your word. Rule number one. Say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip about others, Jeff. <laughs> Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love, Adam Goldberg. <laughs> you're, you're doing the opposite of being impeccable every time you, in, you inject... R rule number two, d uh, don't call out people who are telling you the for... for uh, <laughs> you're not allowed to. As, you know, there's five agreements. 1A, do you can't, you're not allowed. <laughs> if someone knows the four agreements before you do, uh, you, they get to tell you what they are. Okay. <laughs> so rule number one, don't talk shit. Yeah, don't talk shit. And right. that's, that's tough. That's hard. Right. Uh, rule number two, don't take anything personally. This is the one that led me to this because I think this is the big thing that I have in my life. I think this is like, what I, I, I am, I, all of my conflict is based on the, the either I am taking something personally that people didn't mean to be taken personally, or I am saying something that someone else is taking personally that I did not mean for them to take personally. Um, nothing others do is because of you. 
What others say and do is a projection of their own reality, their own dream. When you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim of needless suffering. It's you know easier said than done, but I mean it's really I've I've like like I've heard that. Don't take it personally. I find myself I'm like shit. God damn it! I keep catching myself. You know, if I I could uh, rephrase that, don't sweat the little shit. That's not God. You're a fucking idiot. (laughs) Rule number one. That's a rule number one. That's a reflection of me. Rule number one. You, you broke rule number two and number one of the same fucking... You don't know that. I'm a dream. I'm a dream, you piece of shit. <laughs> rule number one. I'm a dream. Two number two you and number one. You know nothing in Ta- my You're dream. talking shit. You're taking it personally. Everything you're saying is smoke. La, 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 la. <laughs> We're doing great. This book is saving our lives. <laughs> rule number three. Don't make assumptions. Find the courage. Don't make assumptions. <clears throat> Pause. Find the courage to ask questions. I, I really like this one because I think this one actually, like, d- you know, r- it braids nicely. This book is very old. My wife found this book in high school uh, in her, like, identity-seeking phase. Um, and, uh, like, but it's still, this, this rule, I think, really is important as we enter this sort of uh, culture of uh, awareness and progression and, uh, and, and, and calling each other out for things that we're doing wrong and stuff. Because uh, I've, as I've, I've, said a couple times on this podcast boy could we could we try to understand ignorance a little more than we are um so rule number uh, agreement number three is don't make assumptions find the courage to ask questions and to express what you really want communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstandings sadness and drama with just this one agreement, you can completely transform your life. I don't know why he says that. Because it's true, man. Kind of shitting on the other agreements. <laughs> Dan, I like that you're making an most. assumption there. Uh, you're right. <laughs> but I'm asking a question. Why would you say that? Get your agreements shit together. <laughs> Anyways, so but <laughs> on that note, the fourth agreement, here's what's funny about this. So I'm going to try to encapsulate this. Is that we don't, don't fill up on bread. We started... T- <laughs> Because right there. <laughs> Agreement number four, <laughs> don't fill up on bread. It's, you're always going to want to fill up on bread. It's delicious. It's particularly hot and buttery in restaurants, but so is the food that's coming. They're going to charge you for your meal anyway. Don't fill up on bread. <laughs> that was a weird one to throw in there. Um, but, but, but we were... <laughs> Aaron, the reason this th- whole thing came up is because we were in Austin with uh, Derek Waters, the creator of uh, Drunk History, and Aaron and I were sitting at a table drinking in this bar. And then the four agreements came up because Aaron had, had encountered them th- this book in her life. And, we ch- and she remembered Don't Take It Personally is the important one, the one that I think performers are constantly dealing with. You make a show and somebody says, eh, this episode wasn't as good as this episode, and what what a writer hears is you you're a failure and fuck you and then you write an email and say dear time magazine fuck off i never did it <laughs> but uh it's like you're taking it personally anyways but we're so we're ta- so oh what are the other three agreements and we're like oh wow be impeccable with your word that's crazy oh man yeah uh don't make assumptions that's really good and then uh oh shit okay i got a text real quick there okay <laughs> and then the, uh, but then the fourth one <laughs> It was just funny because it's three performers, like creative people sitting at a table, and we all looked at the fourth one when we found out what it was because we couldn't remember it. And then when we saw what it was, we, we, it, it's, it's always do your best. And, and all, all the people at the table went, nah, well, fuck that. <laughs> and, then, and then we all like, wait, wait, why would we feel that way? No, it's because like, I think people who, people who act, direct, stunt, coordinate, make chairs, like, I, I don't know. Like, I think there's a, there's a, I don't know where you draw the line because I don't want to make assumptions uh, and I want to be impeccable with my word and whatever the first one was. The, the, <laughs> but I do think actually somebody out there needs to hear always do your best. But I think the people, that, you know, a lot of the people probably in this room and people in the city of Los Angeles, when they hear that, they just go like, what the fuck do you think I'm doing? <laughs> You dumb piece of shit. <laughs> More like three agreements, all right? Like, but then we thought about it, we're like, you know what? I think a lot of people out there actually, like someone that worked at Enron, maybe if they had read that, always do your best. And they're, and they're like, I'm, yeah, I'm doing my best. Yeah, but really? Your best? Yeah, but that, that, that just doesn't include like your work or your, uh, your creativity. That includes you know, your... Well, let's see what he meant. Because right, I never bothered to read it. I'm, I'm like, fuck that rule. The way, you, the way you behave to other people. Always do your best. Your best is going to... <laughs> Yeah, okay, guy, man, okay, I'm getting old. I got it, guys. 
I got your tweets. I get it. Season four was great now. <laughs> it's all hilarious. It's all coming to my watch. You've all got my watch. You all live on my wrist. Uh, <laughs> now we lost Jeff. Uh, always do your best. Your best is going to change from moment to moment. It will be different when you are healthy as opposed to sick. Th that's it? Okay, see, dumb, dumb agreement. Uh, just do your best, whatever. I always do. I try. It's, it, always, it always sucks. But that's a uh, judgment on me. You're not supposed to hate yourself, too. There's somewhere in there. I've talked enough. Uh, let's start meeting some friends because we got a lot of them here tonight. Uh, I really want to bring up uh, the stranger that that uh, came into season six of Community and nailed it. Uh, <laughs> Ms. Paget Brewster. No, I read that. I read that. Uh, the only two things I remember. Hello, boss. Hi. <laughs> um, <laughs> the only two things I remember were don't gossip. Impossible. Yeah. But impossible. <laughs> don't take anything personally. Yeah. And it's true. That's the big one. Because if someone is angry with you for whatever you did, it's more about them than you. Most people are insecure. I am. You are. Yeah. We all are. So whenever anyone says, what, who's not insecure? Who just went, uh, <laughs> you lying Auntie. sack of crap. Who said, you? No, not Auntie's you. Auntie's never insecure. No, His I dad's like, like an ambassador. There's a, any Fuck time you, someone Auntie. says. Don't take it personal. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but it's true, though. Don't take anything personally because whatever. Anytime anyone's talking, they're. They, they're about them. Yeah. Always. We don't have to that worry about anything. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. worried about their own screw-ups. Yeah. I mean, we've heard it over and over and over and over again. In fact, Spencer actually says that at the end of the dumb movie we yeah. were in. It's not a dumb movie. You learn it in retail. Wait, I, I had to say, I had to say, dumb movie. He's you you so learn it in retail. Yeah, you do. You, well, you do, or you get bitter. Well, well yeah, can't even, yeah. he's so low to the ground. Oh that yeah. I don't well, you guys have a you have a whole stage. I'm not complaining. I love it here. <laughs> it's the best table. But yeah, no, you're 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 literally elevated off the floor that I am on. It's true. He he enjoys too much power as it is. Best if I could dig a hole. No. Yeah, I would oh, put him in it. I would oh. have his head like on the floor. No. No, because he's he's, he's a powerful person. And he I needs to be mitigated. Oh, that's I love really Spencer. sweet. I'm going to remember it that. It makes me feel safe. <laughs> Spencer, do, Spencer, Spencer, do you feel powerful? Uh, no. Yeah. No. Not at all? You don't, you don't feel like you... Exert? I feel like I have agency. Like, I can, you know, like, lift lift a rock and, like, go to the beach and stuff. You know. <laughs> here's... I just want to point out, here's some other people that said what? that. God and Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, draw your own conclusions. <laughs> and don't take it personally. But, I mean, those are, yeah, God doesn't feel powerful. Why would he make a universe if he felt powerful? <laughs> Hitler, Hitler didn't feel powerful. He would have stayed in art school. This is not don't, too don't soon. Let, don't let humility fool you. It's the it's the, it's the Do you think God and Hitler had humility? <laughs> they had self-loathing. God, God, God was not content to be nothing. He became everything. That, who does that? Wait. <laughs> that, that, that who behaves that way? A, a very, very, <laughs> a very, very confident person. Did no, God I would not say that at all. Grow up with a single mother in the projects, <laughs> and he decided to be everything. <laughs> Wait, what? No, I'm curious. Maybe I was not raised with religion. Well, I know. Uh, I'm just, I'm, well, I was raised Lutheran, but I'm making up my own perception of God. Like, you're, what you're, is you're, Lutheran? You're, you're saying that... <laughs> <laughs> Lutheran no, is I, a, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to be that's rude. That's what the Pope that said. Yeah. A, I was raised Lutheran, too. 
<laughs> Lutheran, like they, they refer to it as Catholic light. Like it looks like Catholic. You've got stained glass windows and there's dudes wearing robes and shit. You know how and Catholicism it. is sit, stand, kneel, stand, kneel, stand, sit, kneel, genuflect, stand, kneel, pray, leave? Lutheran is sit, leave. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's the original Protestantism. Oh. It's Martin Luther. <laughs> Martin Luther was the first guy to say, look, religion should be accessible to the people. So the just sit and leave. Well, I mean, I... No, no, you, you do a little call and response and stuff like that. I, he, I, should, he said, for instance, Bibles should not have to be in Latin. Why aren't they in the Oh, well, that's language? fair. I mean, no one... It's a dead language. There's people who would argue <laughs> with you, but yeah, I wouldn't be one of them because Latin was, is not Aramaic. It's not like it's the language God was talking in the first place. I, yeah. <laughs> no one knows Aramaic either. Right. I mean, I, I Bibles think should be... If, so if, if God's <coughs> talking... Dan, don't come a-knocking. Uh, if... if uh, <laughs> Which I believe was uh, De Deuteronomy uh, 2.11. Uh, you're saying then that if, if you believe in a creationist mythology that God created the universe from nothing and created everything, you think that's an act of self-loathing and, and, and low self-esteem on his part? If, if you, you did if say Hitler and God had low <laughs> self-esteem. <laughs> If you don't, they have something in common, which is a... <laughs> Hitler well, and God have if, something in common. If you can't... Deadline.com. Yeah, well... Tomorrow. That's... Dan Harmon says... God is Hitler. Well, but think about it. Our, I mean, uh, d Jesus got crucified for saying the, the simple fact of, like, uh, people would go, oh, are you God? And he would go, like, well, technically, yeah. And they'd be like, that's enough. String them up. And he's like, no, we're, we all are. It's fine. But, like, he's just being technical and philosophical and inviting you to think uh, outside the box. I mean, like, yeah, it's not It's not going to... It's not going to get you laid at a Halloween party to come into a, a you know, uh, in a costume that's like Hitler but with a halo. <laughs> And you're like, what's your point? Because Hitler was God. No, that's not a good message to send. He made a lot of mistakes as a human being. I'm saying that the Wait, God... Hitler or Wait, God? God or Hitler? I feel like... You're the, one you say that you're the one that's digging in this... No, like, I'm asking you. I'm telling you're you... You're equating God I'm telling you the one Hitler. thing they had in common. Maybe they both like fried eggs, but the one thing that I know that they had in common is that they weren't happy with their beginning state. God wasn't happy. That, you're saying that's the creationism. The, my the, God, the God that I believe in. The birth of all in. existence, all this light that we are and the mirrors that we all. My yeah, that's the four agreements thing. The whole thing, the we are light is, that's garbage. How can we? <laughs> you so have to get to the, just get to the second agreement. Yeah. The second just agreement. Just get to the second. No, wait, that's not the first agreement isn't that we're all we're light. We're all light. No, no, that, you don't Jesus. agree with that. You don't but agree with that. The, the four agreements the are all. The first agreement is your. Is, the uh, first one's stupid. We're all light. No, no, no that we're, wasn't the first dream. one. It's a dream. That wasn't the Fuck first one. Fuck you. No, don't gossip. <laughs> Nothing's personal. That's the first one. Don't how gossip. How can you no. be light and a dream? Like, yeah, how whatever. can. Yeah, right? How can light You're dream? living in a dream. No one is light and a dream. We're all dirt and we're human and we're sexual <laughs> That's and matter. we're assholes. That's matter. <laughs> Matter's a reflection. Sorry, I no, interrupted. No, that's good. You're being... You're you were, being I'm sorry, you were talking about God and Hitler <laughs> being the same. And not by choice. Carry on! And Pat, you're, Pat you're, being sexy dirt. You're being impeccable with your word and I've saying, I've always been like, sexy dirt. I mean, you know me. <laughs> What? Chris, Sorry. Get, Sorry. A, get, a, get a different room. God, stop it. <laughs> get a podcast. The uh, You're being impeccable with your word when you say, yeah, we're all animals, we're all things. Like, I like think that's, so. Yeah, so that's good. So you're, uh, yeah, he's not, he, this guy didn't never said, I just want to make it clear because I feel like I'm, I'm doing a bad commercial for him. He didn't say the first agreement was buy into all this light and. I thought light you stuff. said that was the first. No, no, no. I was explaining his <laughs> cosmology. Uh, his cosmology. Cosmology. Is that we're I don't know what that word means. I think it means. It just means makeup ma tips. map of the universe. <laughs> Wait, what did you say, sir? Cosmology sorry? is the map of the universe. Just a map of the universe, a model of the universe, philosophically. I didn't know that, and well, I appreciate you not judging me for not knowing that word. I don't judge Thank anything you. anymore. I, I I have four agreements. That <laughs> might be one of them. Yeah, don't I don't make judge. assumptions. Yeah. Can we have I a like little that. judgment jar that you have to put a dollar in every time you judge somebody throughout the rest <laughs> of the show? <laughs> uh, well, that would let's be have, good. Uh, okay, I want I want to keep this bullet train moving because we have so many Sorry. friends here tonight. Sorry. Judgment cup. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you want vodka in that? No, no, no. Oh, okay. A dollar every, every time you judge somebody throughout the rest of this oh. podcast. Dollar in the ju judgment cup. Uh, our friend Curtis Armstrong is here, and I really want to.
Curtis, welcome. She's my street buddy. Oh, okay. I ran oh, into her the on the street. Oh, she came up to you and oh. yeah, and she was the one who told me that you were you were worried that I didn't like you anymore. <laughs> Don't take it personally. No. Like when, when 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 you when you were when you were incommunicado and you were having fun with your daughter, I no 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 I I, I know I know you, yeah you, you just got a little uncertain and yeah you started thinking too much and but questioning what you've been doing which is really and selfish and egomaniacal of me to like translate the things happening in this dream to mean something about me. It's no, dumb. but I, I think all it was Dan was you expressing a very uh, warm, friendly I- uh, idea that you want Curtis to like you and you you you, you, you had the courage I br- to say I that out loud. I took it that way. I, I really did take it that way. And then Leah, yeah. correct? Yeah. Leah stopped me in the street and she said, you have to talk to Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I was outside a ramen place and she said, you have to talk to Dan because he's very upset and he thinks, and she said <laughs> that she stood up during the show and told you, Dan, no, he, he's, he's with England. his daughter yeah. with in England. And I and said, well, then I guess he doesn't check his tweets. <laughs> anyway, that's all behind us now because you're clear on everything and Yeah. And Have you guys ever worked together? Here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We worked we Ugh. worked like for three years on a on a series, an animated series called Dan Versus. <gasps> And y- some people oh. know it. And, uh, with Dave Foley. With and Dave it was Foley. The three of us in That's a right. room. And I never uh, I have laughed it. so much. I know. You, oh. We just it was really laughed fun. all the time. And, um, and then the show was great, and it ran and ran, and then the network was canceled. Well, it was this weird, <laughs> yeah, it was this weird thing where you can never we were get comfortable. On, you know, it <laughs> was like exactly what happened. We, we don't even know yet because it was on the hub. The hub. The hub. Which was purchased <laughs> by yeah, purchased by Hasbro. Hasbro, mm-hmm. thank you. Which then was purchased by Nickelodeon. The Germans. The Sorry. Germans. <laughs> and then God. And, and now God. we're back to Hitler and again. They kept saying, uh, "Your contract is over." Oh no, wait. You're now owned by the Germans or something. Right. Yes, that's exactly, <laughs> exactly what it was. Actually, Dave and Curtis and I had so much fun. We were like, mm, okay, whatever. Mm, Germans, we're fine. <laughs> yeah. And so we were signing on to a show that didn't exist anymore. Right. <laughs> in first position. Yeah, it was, and, uh, it was crazy. we still don't know. Like, I have not heard. No. Any, I, I don't I even bob- know if no. we have a show. You could get a call tomorrow. It could be like we could. Dave versus. For them, though, I would do it. Yeah. It was great. Like, for you, I would do your show in a uh, hot damn second. (laughs) (laughs) Me too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I would do your show. Yeah, he's well, nuts, but he's good. I, I know. Well, yeah, that, that's keep going, keep going. That's what I want. Talk to your friend Curtis, colleague, actor. Pretend I'm not here, and I won't take it personally, and tell him everything that you would say. If you ran into Curtis at an airport and you go, oh, I guess you just did a season of Dan Harmon's show. What was that like? Okay, so Padgett, you you've been working with Dan Harmon, right? <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> I so am beat red. <laughs> yeah, you are. Hold on. So um, Curtis? Wait, you know what? I've heard some weird things about Dan. Listen, I know, I know. I know. Flight 451 really to Burbank is now boarding. <laughs> Flight 451, <laughs> passengers sitting in zone one are now I'm in the back, board. so I'm... I'm Here's I'm the thing, man. I'm not going to lie to you. The hours are long. He's a little crazy. Yeah. Sometimes the scripts are late. But here's the problem. They're so goddamn good yeah. that you will end up agreeing to have basically Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> you will be like, fuck, this guy is so fucking good. I... I don't know. The whole cast is great. No, I know. I know what you're. I know I what you're thinking. Look how I mean, happy Dan is. Somebody had asked me about <laughs> being on the show. Wait, I didn't hear what he said. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, but we talked about this last time. I don't time. know. Like he's jerking is... off and he's drinking. I, I don't I know. know. But this is I conditional love. Now this boarding zone two. zone two. Zone <laughs> two. People see it in zone two. I think I create the deplorable situation so that you have to say that. I think. I think that. I think there's some unconscious drive behind me that, like, because I don't think the time that I, th- your time that I wasted, or the wardrobe supervisor's time that I wasted, made the show any better. I think all the things that make the show good could be done very quickly. And I think I, I think I purposely, or not purposely, because I, I don't want to. I don't think I'm that fucked up that I do it consciously, but I do believe that unconsciously 
I'm trying to put myself in a situation where mommy and daddy can say, God, you're a little piece of shit. Like, we really didn't want you. Uh, you know, Roe v. Wade was so close to your conception. Oh, I'm going <laughs> to... So close. I'm gonna, wait, just stop. a photo finish. No. You got... <laughs> you don't think they told me? No, no, no. I... What? Why else would I know? <laughs> 1973, look it up. <laughs> Photo finish. <laughs> oh my god. I don't god. blame them. <laughs> like, and, and, so, so, and I'm like, okay. And then they're like, well, what if I do this? And they're like, well, then, then, okay. Now you're talented. <laughs> and uh, so I like, Wait, I need gonna, to like I'm, drive it to that. You're, but you're, then, I, mm, yeah, no, no, go no, ahead, no, please. Go no, ahead. Curtis, go. No, no, go. please. No, no, please, go. All right, then, if everyone could do it quickly, then they would. And you did it the way you needed to do it, yeah. and that's how it works out. I mean, it just you do it at the speed that you do. But and I'm I would say to him in an airport or at Gelson's, Curtis, which is where we usually which is where see we each other, run into each other. Okay, I'm not here. I would I'm not say here. he's okay. he's nuts, but it's great. Really? It's worth it. You're not a <laughs> network. Yeah. Oh yeah. Man. He's I've not heard that a so many times TV about other people. Guy. <laughs> and it all it no. never works out that way. <laughs> you no, know, he people really, tell me, no, you know, I, the the guy's really insane, you know, uh, but it's but he's worth great. it. It's never been worth it for okay, me. Okay, I would <laughs> Well, because have I ever said to you this guy's crazy but it's worth it? Never. No. Because no, I would only say time. it about him. Okay. Uh, uh, Believe I'm me. I'm just a waiter. <coughs> could you... Could oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> could you ask your friend uh, for examples of people who haven't been worth it? <laughs> 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 just because I'm a waiter and I am just I work at an airport and I this is all I have. <laughs> Bye. Dan, most people well, said, aren't my name's worth Steve. it. Oh, sorry, Steve. <laughs> you know what I mean. I do know exactly what you mean. I, and I've always imagined that that's what working with him was like. He's crazy, but He's it's nuts, so worth but it. But it's worth it. Excuse I, me, excuse me. Uh, pardon me to interrupt your conversation. <laughs> I work for the TSA. Have you been approached by uh, somebody pretending to be a waiter in uh, this airport? <laughs> <laughs> Stop that waiter! Stop that waiter! <laughs> The humans are suspicious. He's now on his iWatch phone. Zone 3 is now boarding. Flight 251 to Burbank. Zone 3. Still going, still flying. Mr. President, Mr. President, we've made contact with the alien waiters. Curtis, be the president. Mr. President, uh, as, as your chief of staff, I feel it's time to get you into the bunker. Uh, uh, the, the alien waiters have uh, invaded uh, the Philadelphia airport. Who's this guy from the White House? Yeah, I, I don't have any idea. Um, I'm, the chief, I'm your chief of staff, sir. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> that's right. I'm sorry. Or am I? Paget. <laughs> 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 Hey, Roger. They're both flying right now. They both are alien faces for the podcast listeners at home. <laughs> Paget, you're you're the head of an elite firm that helps people with their public scandals before they happen, but you're having an affair with President Curtis, which is the biggest scandal of all, and yet your job is to handle scandals. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> And you both just took a shit. Wait, but I can't. <laughs> and you can both smell it, but you think it's you, but you don't know. But you both think it's you, because there's it's the, you're in the Oval Office and there's two bathrooms, and you both just took a huge shit, and you both think. I don't know if that informs. Is, it, is, it, is this the moment after that he found that, found out his chief of staff is one of the alien waiters? Yeah, he had okay. that meeting. Right. Now it's time for this meeting where usually you guys like. It's like your personal meeting. I feel like the bit is you over explaining the improv. <laughs> <laughs> I would not disagree with that, no. which is why I stopped doing improv. <laughs> I, that's every note I got after every improv show I ever did. 
comedy performer. We just saw a really good improv last night in a room full of eight people. To just who? To, as a uh, Aaron, come out here so you can tell us who that was. Aaron McGathy. Aaron McGathy. For podcast listeners, this Aaron is McGathy. Aaron, Dan's wife. She's a great actress, a beautiful redhead, and a sex bot. Oh, thank you, Patrick. I was just like obsessively fi- fixing my hair backstage, so now I think I have a uh, cocker spaniel thing no, going. No, I love it. No, it looks beautiful. I love it. Yeah, thanks, guys. USS Rock and Roll is our oh. the group that we saw. Yeah, what are the, what are those names? Those those kids. Uh, Annie, Annie and Annie O'Connell, Levin O'Connell. I don't know O'Connor, <laughs> and yeah, Annie O'Connor, Levin O'Connor. <laughs> I love like, really good long form improv. Like it's so different from like like short form improv is like it's a parlor trick. It's like we we learn skills that we can use. I'm saying we because anybody can. I'm not saying I'm good at it. I'm just mean like in short form improv, which I was trained in. It's like they go, okay, here's all these disciplines, and here's how you use them to make a quarter <coughs> come out of someone's ear. And you could like like Jeff is you know does it like on like national television. Is that still a thing? Yeah, national yeah, television? Yeah, it's, it's still national. Um, uh, but when yeah, you're in a uh, short form improv, is like a, it's like vaudeville. Like it's like be funny immediately. So you don't like, like our friend Derek Mears made a good analogy for short form improv versus long form. Short form is like if you're on a dirt bike, there's a ramp every couple seconds, so you don't ever get that much runway and you don't ever get that much air. Long form is a lot of runway and you build up a lot of speed. So when a joke hits, you get to fly for a long time. Like so, the the, the payoff is way bigger if you can like make a joke land in a long form situation. Short form, like whose line is like joke, 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 joke. You could also be like, like I mean, another way, another way to illustrate the difference is you could show up and and walk into a room and go, oh, there's only four other people here. And for a short form improv show, that pretty much that doesn't mean it's going to be a bad show. It could be the most memorable show of your life, but but depending on what they how they react backstage, but it generally means this short form improv engine is not going to get the gas it needs. But if you come in and there's four other people in the room and there's a little black box and you're watching like good disciplined like long form improv people you you i mean they may do a better show for four people than they could have ever done for 40 people it's like you walk out it's like church i mean like if, a, if you walk into a church and it's emptier i, I don't know it's like it's so <laughs> there's good. more god for you <laughs> or hitler whatever you want to use as your placeholder yeah well, I we think uh, we we saw just really quick. We saw we saw improv at the Now Theater in Los Angeles. If you're interested in long form improv, the That's the, the 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 yeah. hardcore shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's Craig Gakowski laughing. <laughs> uh, improv guru. Right. Craig Craig, yeah. Craig. Craig. Uh, has you, you, who many community fans know as Officer, Officer Kikowski. <laughs> He's also in the Thrilling Adventure Hour. Ten years strong. Hey, Officer Craig Kukowski, come up. Let's do it. Long form improv show. Long form improv show. I will say this while Craig is coming up, long form improv will be meeting. Let me show you what I mean when I say long form improv. Here we go. I heard plumber, (laughs) and I heard, uh, I heard, uh, uh, I heard, I I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard rap. All right. I love it. Just real quick, we, we promised Craig backstage we literally would not do this. I know. That's, a, that's, no, that's my it's joke. It's that's it's my good. joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in front of me, Aaron, Sometimes my jokes have an audience of You want to be one. a part of this pageant? No, I'm scared. <laughs> Get in Wait, no, do, 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 you have, do you want a suggestion or anything? Like, I got heard plumber and rap. That's all I heard. Plumber and rap. You heard plumber and rap? Well, I mean, I thought I did. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, that must be that rapping plumber I ordered. <laughs> you use the music? A doop doop do 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 a do 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 do. Well, my job is to unplug your toilet, but I don't want to today, cause I want to help you differently. And I, my name is Kevin. Okay, Kevin. Well, the, the toilet's pretty clogged. No, it? it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 well. Well, my name is Rappin' Plumber, and I'm here to stay. I'd like to unplug your toilet in a different way. I'm the star of the show, and I rap all the time. And improv is great, because I like to rhyme. My name is Rappity, 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 Rappity. 
<laughs> do, do I give you no. the, the group on now? No. Or? Okay. Hi, honey, honey. I I heard I heard that Kevin's here. No, I'm not. I was a ghost the whole time. I was just haunting the scene. I'm from Hitler and God's world. You know what I mean. I'm going to moonwalk downstage for you. I'm an improv master. This is what I do. Break it down. Improv, 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 improv. I know, I know we're only supposed to call the number if we feel threatened. No, they're not. <laughs> what time is it? It's, uh, it's uh, no, it's not. I didn't even tell you what time it was. No, you didn't. Two hours earlier before Kevin the Rapping Plumber showed up at the house. <laughs> this better be good. Well, goddammit, I've been plumbing this thing, and it's just not... I know, honey, and you're so good at plumbing this thing. <laughs> you are. And I'm so sorry for making this mess. <laughs> and I know that the only plumber in town is um, schizophrenic. <laughs> Why did we move to this tiny town? <laughs> Well, we were down in Omaha in 73. Didn't know what we would do. We lived in a tree. We had only $4 to our name, so we decided to get in the Omaha game. Still, Omaha is a fairly large city. Four years earlier in Omaha. As the mayor of, hello, sorry. <laughs> As the mayor of New York, I clearly got on the wrong flight. I mean, when back, will back, one of these towns? Four years later, back in the house. Four years later, back in the house. Remember when the mayor of New York was on our flight to Omaha? That was so. <laughs> that was a weird day. That was so <laughs> that surreal. That was a very there weird day. There was so day. much security. Uh, the test came back. It's you, not me. Um, I can have children, and you can't. I'm <laughs> Look, I, I make so much money as an insurance executive here in Omaha. I know, and that's why I'm with you. <laughs> Also your it smile. feels good when we state our subtext. <laughs> <laughs> well, I better leave because you need to take a big shit. You know, I know this sounds weird, but I appreciate that you know when I need to take big shits. I can just read it on your face. <laughs> <laughs> and you're impeccable with your word. <laughs> All right. Long form motherfucking That's improv. That's long form everybody. improv. Thank you. Craig Kukowski. Craig Kukowski, thank you, brother. Hey, Craig probably doesn't need to plug anything, does he? You guys can come back now, the, the theatrical portion. You, you notice Paget and Curtis fled over here for safety. No, because they're actors. They're like, fucking give them space. <laughs> You can resume your seats. Okay? Yeah. I'm not sure about The improv no. is over. You're good. You're good to go. Oh, hello, officer. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pickles. Now, let me ask you a question. Um, Dan, you know improv is ye what? yes what? and. It's not rapping. No! Wait, what? No, it's rapping and saying no. What are you, where um, did you guys learn Jeff, improv? Jeff. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you looking at your watch? No, I was writing things down. Okay. Um, Improv is yes and, not <laughs> no! <laughs> Ideal, yeah. Okay, just, uh, you know that. <sighs> that was my, that my bit. <laughs> your improv is no! And then rapping, and standing literally your in front of Craig Kukowski, great. which was funny. It should just be a yes and rap. Well, your rap was stellar. Thank you. Right? 
it's all anyone will remember anyway. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. So my favorite, my favorite uh, 30 Rock joke, I love 30 Rock, but the, the best joke, the, like, well, my favorite one, was <laughs> they alluded to the fact that uh, Liz Lemon and uh, Je- I can't now I can't even remember her friend's name that that is the host of the original show, but whatever Jen what, Jen. The, uh, yeah they, they they allude to the fact that they met doing improv workshops I've told this a thousand times it's just my favorite thing <laughs> they just flash back to <laughs> Tina Fey and uh, they're they're, the, they're just sitting in, in all black and they're sitting in these two chairs in this little black box and then they go okay the suggestions are Sling Blade and Oprah Winfrey <laughs> and the, <laughs> <laughs> and Liz Lemon goes, kind of centers herself and then goes, I sure like those French fried potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jenna goes, no you don't, Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just goes back. All of, all of, all of, the, all of the sitcom like fl- whip pan flashbacks that we've had to suffer, that, was the, that was all, made it all worth it. It was so funny. <laughs> Uh, Craig, uh, Craig has been my teacher and coach a billion times over. I'm sorry I... I, I um, Turn that phone it's off time. right now. It's time Turn to it say off. this. It's the that <laughs> beeping. Turn it off. I'm sorry about the subtext thing, and I'm sorry, to go, I'm sorry about going to the infer- infertility place. I've done it before. Don't take it, don't take it personally. Don't, don't take it personally. No, yeah, God damn it, that's true. That's, that's the most important thing. And I screwed yeah, up. Don't See, uh, uh, Aaron, uh, uh, my favorite thing of that was uh, <laughs> I, I, it, is going to the infertility place a, a, a hack premise? Because I, I, I wanted to see it more. It is for a- old Aaron McGathy. <laughs> it's, Wait. It's, it's not, not yet. It is 9-11. 9-11. 9/11. So it's 19. Yeah. yeah I mean, what? We go by that clock. clock. Oh, yeah, it's 9-11. No. Oh, it's 9-11. <laughs> A minute. What? I know, I know. It's just something we do. We do this all You're the time. Of it's, dis- it's really disturbing it's the first <laughs> time it happens. It's, it's no, I'm, I no, really wait, didn't I'm get asking it. about and Jeff Davis wanting kids. Uh. <laughs> oh, you mean the real 9 11. <laughs> the, real, the real biggest tragedy. Pa- Paget, aren't you married right now? Yeah, now. <laughs> You sexy oh, dirt, shut you. shut up, shut up. I'm <laughs> going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> it was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. We were both young. We were v- very young. <laughs> but it was great. Him too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what was lo- a long time ago? We had a little... Thing. We, we what? Had, we, we, had, we had a very... We, we did it for like You're 45 minutes dumb. a long time Well, ago. no, I'm playing It was polite. longer than 45 <laughs> minutes. All right, fine. They dated. I, I was not the one that brought it up. You guys brought it up. <laughs> they dated. All right. Every time I work with you, I find out. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is really true. The last time I worked with Listen, her, I there was another person involved in what we were doing. And it was this. It was like, oh, you know, like the eyes getting all, remember no. that? And Listen, I you know, dated. We'll always, yeah, you you know. dated a lot. I uh. did. Curtis. Paget, I, I still have two of your wigs, by the way, at my house, which I wear quite frequently. Oh, <laughs> I got God. Your, I got the red wig, the short red wig. And you the, do? And the, and the long Oh, red, my God. My landlord's son wanted that wig. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't find it. I've, I have the weirdest boner. <laughs> <laughs> not my joke. It's Donald Glover's. Uh, wait, okay. Oh, all right, so... I'm sorry, wait. Patrick just said her landlord's son wanted that wig. What do you well, mean? Well, back at... Not now. I mean, I own a home now. I'm <laughs> <laughs> She's sophisticated now, but I'm there was a day when... No, my... <laughs> I lost a couple of wigs to Jeff Davis back in the day, and that's fine. <laughs> Listen, every woman loses a couple of wigs to Jeff. That's fine. Paget, you, you weren't the first, and you won't be the last. I know. Do um. you have Paget? Do you have a? You're very experienced. Oh, no. You've been what very. <laughs> do you have an no, STD? No. I'm changing. No, no, He's I know. Amazing. <laughs> I <laughs> cannot believe it. I thought by now I would I, have something awful. No. And I, I, never, I, I feel the same way. It's a fucking miracle, right? Isn't it amazing? It's because a you got around too. I, I, I'm very. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a condom. I, I'm a safe sex. Yes, kind we of crazy. both use condoms. Uh, yeah. We together and with other people. <laughs> but still. I used to, actually, I, to, truth be told, I used to put your wigs on my dick and fuck you with a wig. That I don't you, remember. Huh? No. 
All of Harmontown has led up to this point. <laughs> this, is that. this is the most important moment. Well, I was going to ask you just uh, because I didn't oh. want to be remiss in having you on stage. Like, we've, we've farted around and had fun, but <laughs> you're a performer that has been funny for a very long time uh, and uh, probably is admired by a lot of people when they watch you on screen and stuff. But it was just so, so that I'm not remiss as an interviewer. I don't want to do my job wrong. Like, is there a philosophy that you follow because your ability to as I wrote, be the person that dropped in and nailed it. You know, I you I mean, wrote that. I wrote that as a valentine to For everything me. you had done. Yeah. But, uh, like, Which like, was lovely. I wrote everything you said, motherfucker. No, I know. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Don't you no, forget I know. it. No, but the fact that you wrote for me to say in the last episode as someone who came in late and nailed it, and I was so scared to say it because I didn't know at that point if I had... Like, oh, that's to adorable. me, I didn't know. But, no, what? no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I just did to you what Aaron does to me all the time. I'm so sorry. Would she, would, when where, I pa- did I you pa- just do it? <laughs> no, I, 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 like, I, I, I you, you, she, I was, I, uh, never mind. Can we, can we put a pin in that? I missed it. Can we put a I pin in that? I missed it, too. No, I was, put, put a pin in that. I just want to. Oh, my God, this has become something else. No, no, no. <laughs> like, like, well, is there anything, like, when you're, when you, s- before you step in front of eight fucking giant cameras, uh, 5,000 lights, 200 people dangling from rafters. You know, like, is there, like, dif- different actors say different things about how are they able to do comedy or drama or anything in, in that in that totally artificial environment? Because all we see on the screen is that, like, it's because of the courtesy of these craftsmen who make things look like a living room and look like a, a courtroom in Mississippi in 1950. Like, all we see is reality and then these amazing actors, and we don't realize that it's, like, Jesus Christ, the environment is so unnatural. And you get, like, particularly comedic actors are able to exude all of this, like, weird uh, human energy. Is there anything that you do? Do you kneel in front of a mirror in your trailer? Do you remind yourself? Do you have a mantra? Okay. Are you crazy? Um, you, this is, I'm going to say, this is Dan being a really generous, thoughtful man, podcaster, interviewer. He doesn't have to ask this. No, I want the only th- thing I care about. Well, because I don't in care. working. No, uh, you shouldn't. Wait, I don't because have to. Because that question is like, oh, what do you have to promote? You're an. I'm actress. saying because like a lot of them out there want to do what you do. No, yeah, but they don't. They they want to like be home with their families and and like maybe you take a totally course. Totally misunderstood our audience. Wait, no, I'm saying <laughs> no, no, no. You're being very giving and loving and supportive and thoughtful and saying, oh, what do you have to do for this character? I don't. I just show up, but and I say the lines, really? okay. and I do the best I can, is there and you write great lines, and that's why I was there. Well, so, there, so what? What? Hap- what she when a you're, pro? When you're in front of the <laughs> no. When you're in front of the camera, what? What you know? Okay, when I was younger, I thought, how does my hair look? Um, am I hiding the size of my nose? Do I have all my wigs? <laughs> 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 or awesome. is it's that guy I was son. dating? Did he take them? You yeah. gave you You're gave them to me. I things. asked you for them and you gave them to me. Of course, I gave them to you. <laughs> you were a great boyfriend. <laughs> oh. Okay, Paget, pretend you're at an airport with Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> Um, actually, I think Curtis and I will be performing our long-form farting president and presidential aide uh, improv at Gelson's um, right. in Silver Lake uh, sometime right. over the next two months. Yeah, but you, uh, we're, we're not announcing the time. You just have to luck into being there. <laughs> it's like a rave. They'll let you know. Because we don't... We, yeah, Skrillex will tell you. You have to be on Skrillex's Instagram. You just how have to works? be there at the right time. Curtis, do you have do you have a do you have a ritual? Do you have a technique? Do you have a mantra? Do you have a do you have a threshold you have to cross before you step in front of cameras? Mm, I don't. I, I, I was thinking about this um, uh, recently. Did I tell you about finding my my booger biography? <laughs> you did. Yes, you said because you that was what I used to booger? do. Booger. I actually From found <laughs> in a notebook um, the. Because I was trained as an actor, and that what you do as an actor is, in order to understand your character, you write a biography of it. And no one will ever know what you've written, but you'll know, and that's why you do that. And I found my biography that I wrote in 1983 for Booger. 
as okay, to who Revenge he was of the Nerds. For Revenge of the Booger, Nerds. Yeah. Revenge of the Nerds. And that Sex was what girls. I used to do. I don't do it anymore because no one ever gives me roles where <laughs> I where they actually start in a place and end on, in a place. Those don't really happen that well, much. Well my anymore. friend, that's about to change. Except give me a beat. Oh, what's going on? I like to give it up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I just, I just, you know. I just. I liked it. it I don't know good. what it was, but. I it got was blue balls. I thought you were about to go into some nice long form improv for us. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Like I could give him a role tonight on this stage. That would well, be it, looked like, my, yeah. it looked like that's what but you were going to do. But he would have to go do. off and write a biography. Well, okay. No, no, I don't do that anymore. All right, I did okay. that. I did that in the past. All right, let's do it. Okay, so you. I'm your let's. I'm your dad. Okay. You I'm not an improv guy, so I- if you're really expecting improv, I'll but no, no, no. But we want. It's, it's, this is just going to be, like, like. <laughs> it, it, you've already done more than enough in like Shadowrun to know you get. This is that's the level of improv. You just. I mean, don't you're worry. You're playing with somebody who's going to disagree with everything you say. Or yeah. oh, right. Okay. No, no, no. I'm not going to do oh that. Oh my God! What is going no, on no. with we you two? Can I be your counselor? Can I be your counselor? Can I I'm ask the? <laughs> Yeah, when that, you what do was that X, thing, what was that I thing that feel we put the X. pin in? What was that thing yeah, that you put the, the pin, in, put in, about, pin about, in about the thing that she does? Oh, no, no, no you it was just too complicated pageant. a topic. It was just, it, it, was, de- <laughs> it was derailed. Let's do this. I, <laughs> I get, it's just, it would, it, I'm your dad, and okay. I, uh, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, you're, you're at the uh, breakfast table, Yeah. and I just found a joint under your mattress in your bedroom. Uh, uh, hey, Dad. Morning. Good, good morning. Do you care to explain this? I I I uh, I don't know what that is. Well, <laughs> you should. It's under your mattress. Oh, it must have. It must have. It must have come with the mattress. <laughs> it's. N- <laughs> it's not mine. I I gotta get to school. You got the day off, Mister, because you're gonna talk to me. Because you could go to school every day for the rest of your life, and if you keep making choices like that, it's not going to matter. I went to Vietnam for you. (laughs) Not for my country. I fucking hate America. (laughs) I went to Vietnam for you. Dad, how old do you think I am? I think you're 17. I'm 32. It's 2015. What year is this? It's 2015. Oh, it's now. I went to Vietnam for you to get that mattress. <laughs> it's ostrich skin. It's expensive. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm experimenting. I'm reaching out. I'm trying new things. The fucking mattress doesn't care about your coming of age. Well, I could have gone to Sears if I knew you were going to put sh- shit that's on fire under it. Well, Dad, you were in Nam. Did you never take drugs in Nam? Of course I did. I didn't put well, it under my fucking mattress. Then why are you mattress. yelling at me? It's an expensive mattress. It's ostrich skin. Dad, I don't smoke the mattress. I just put the joints there. See that you don't smoke the mattress. This thing has brown on the end of it. That means that when you put it under there, it oh, could have been red. Okay, do you all have, right. Have you ever heard these stories? Yes. Embers I'm can sorry. burn for a month. You could burst into flame. I'm sorry. Be careful. I really, I'm really glad that we had this talk, though, because you don't talk to me that much. And... <laughs> well, let's talk now. Dad, what are you what are you doing? Pouring a bowl of grape nuts. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. It's called space work. Um. <laughs> Hello. Dad, that was milk. Hello. Dad, it's milk for your grape nuts. Milk? I just gave you the milk for your grape nuts. Son, milk, j- milk is calling me. Take it. Um, yeah, uh, milk. I, uh, I'm just sitting here with uh, my son. Everything's fine. 
Look at your watch. <laughs> Look at your watch. Look at your... <laughs> it milk. doesn't mean anything. Milk, uh, milk, why did, would you say something like that? I've trusted you forever. <laughs> it's your watch. Ah! Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> my watch and my milk are talking to me, son. Your son is important. important. <laughs> your son, son is, is important. important. Dad? Are you okay? My son is important. <laughs> Vietnam, Vietnam, Dad? Vietnam. Are you okay? Vietnam, Dad? Vietnam, Mom! Vietnam, Vietnam. Your son is important. Vietnam, Your son is Vietnam, important. Vietnam, Your son is important. Vietnam, Vietnam. Oh. <laughs> 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 My son is important. <laughs> My son Ooh. is important. <laughs> County line, 3,000 miles. My son is important. <laughs> Three days later. My son is important. <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> I need a doorbell. <laughs> My son is important. <laughs> is this Don's doorbells? Is your doorbell a real doorbell? I thought it was, I assumed. I'm sorry. No, my, uh, yes, it's a real doorbell. You just walked into my house. Oh, I thought it was Don's doorbells and that I assumed that the doorbell on the outside was just a, I'm sorry. Don, <laughs> Don's doorbells was run by my son downstairs. Sorry, what? Your Did son you just Don? close the door and then try to talk to me? <laughs> Your son is important. <laughs> Bing bong! Uh, 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 yeah. uh. Your son is important. Vietnam, Vietnam, <laughs> Vietnam. Thank you. Don's, Don's doorbells is downstairs. Thank you. You get the idea. <laughs> oh. Mike Myers must have been so young. <laughs> Jeff, are we still in the improv show? <laughs> Should I run Don's doorbell? Yes, or? yeah. Don? Whatever, whatever you're, yeah. Hello! Don, it's Don's me! Don's doorbell's here! <laughs> I'm slightly Scottish, slightly Irish. What's happening? <laughs> I love doorbells. <laughs> and you are? I am my son's father. My son is important. Don is important. Do you need me to call? 911 Yes and one <laughs> All right, yeah, okay. yeah, we got it we got it yeah. That's fucking perfect An extra one yeah <laughs> Perfect Good <laughs> But did I almost I almost blew it <laughs> But, 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 but then I added the extra one. Yeah. That's Dan, though, good okay. did, did Curtis's character really go from point A to point B? Did we really see that develop? Or, or is that just another one of those one-note Curtis See, this roles? is what I mean. Yeah. This is what I, I mean. I think Curtis did a great I job. I thought I was going somewhere. I didn't really go anywhere. You know what I did it wrong? I endowed Curtis with a low-status character. Curtis, I am... No, 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 Dan, Dan, I, well, I, for the love of Dan, God, can I, can, I over, can I overrule this, Dan? I, I say if we're going to do any more yeah, Curtis, yeah. Curtis character development, we save it for Shadow, yeah, yeah, Shadow Run, Run, everybody. Shadow Run. Shadow Run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we got uh, Nightblade. We got, what's, we should bring Demorge up here. Demorge Brown Demarge. on the stage, please. Demorge Brown. Demarge. A cavalcade of stars tonight at Harmontown. Oh, yeah. Here, Demorange, why don't you uh, sit here? Sit here and take this mic. Why would I? But I, but I could stand. Yeah, I can make do. All right. Take it. 
Where are you going? I will say Spencer is still sitting lower than the sea level. That's true. I was thinking, you know, they also have taller chairs. It's a real confluence of factors here. We're having, we're having too Good much word. fun. Thank you, thank you. No, no you want a taller chair. Pa- Paget, we have I'm to, fine. We, we probably have to get Paget up to speed on what the hell we're doing here, right? Paget, are you familiar what? with? Are Should you familiar? I get out? No, no, you're staying with us for certain. Uh, we'd like you to help us play a game. Uh, it's like a role-playing game. Where oh, it's called Dungeons and Dragons. It is. It's it's like well, them. It's it's called Shadow Run. Oh, uh, th- uh, this I don't know. It's like <laughs> it's think of it kind of like the like the Matrix, the future. Do you know this? We're kind of like uh, mercenaries, like like like, like Great. badasses for hire. And what what role will uh, Padgett be playing, Spencer? Well, see, that's the deal. I mean, we got a whole group of people here. Oh, Dan, you have a chair coming in. Hackers. Yeah, I don't have a character sheet for Hack. Curtis, that's have you the done problem. This? I have done this because he's but a plot you know what? You No, I'll do it. No, no, no. I think she should do. She should do Doctor Friend. No, no, you're Doctor oh, Friend. All right, I'll do Doctor Friend. Well, wait. Right. Let's hear him out. Let's hear him out. Well, I was just thinking that maybe Dr. Friend, maybe what has happened is Dr. Friend has gone into sort of a time warp time thing and has, has uh, changed and is now, is now being played temporarily by Patrick Wait, we Winston. don't actually... We I don't, don't know what's happening. We don't actually have too many people, do we? We, we do have, have too Mercy many people. O'Donnell, we have Eve too Liberty. many people. I'm telling you. Jim Knightley. Trust me. H- H- Hodor. Who would I lie? Why would I lie Spencer, to you? Oh okay. my God! I love you. I, are the I most am, honest. I am willing <laughs> to stand by <laughs> the side this of, and, and, and cheer I, everyone on. Spencer, is it possible to have with, without anybody else being uh, hack eye? Uh, maybe uh, let's. Uh, What's a hack eye? Hack eye is, is, is a character that you. I don't want to be a hack eye. <laughs> Spencer. What? <laughs> could, could she be some sort of NPC and come and join join? Can the I be an room? NPC? Well, yeah. I mean, there's all sorts of things that we could do successfully. I mean, I'm telling you now, it's just I don't have a character sheet for an extra character. So well, if I, you don't need a sheet, I will walk an, away. We all have those. If you we will all have love those me days. forever. We all have those days where we feel um, different than we do the day before. I call those, I guess that's every day. Um, <laughs> but maybe would it be okay if Paget was uh, like uh, uh, my memories? Jeff, Jeff just or made a, oh, walk a, away. Jeff just made an interesting pitch that it would, it would take Spencer's yes to, to go with us. That what we do is. Take our shirts off. <laughs> no, I'm not. We, no. we, do a, we, we give d- everybody two eggs. We do a very special <laughs> episode. <laughs> Where we do a flashback and find out about Dr. Friend's origins. Mm. But it would have to be like, uh, I mean, Spencer would be off the grid, off the map. Oh, yeah. It would be a real improv show. (laughs) Which, I mean, you guys are the masters of that thing. I think if I, you know... All right. Yeah, so Spencer, your job would be maybe to just you know d- define whatever needs to be defined in the, s- in the spatial. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And change scenes. And I'm stuff. just yeah. You guys got to do some lifting though. Okay. What Not is me? going right, on? I, I have a okay, it's, you know what? Can I just leave and go to the bathroom? No, and no. call my no, mom. No, Paget, Paget, we, we we need you for this. You're, no. you're you're an actor, and we need no, you. No, you need someone to leave. I will be that person. No, no. What is happening? Paget, we're going on a magic carpet ride right now, and you're you're on board for this. We need We've you more done than that your before. Mom. I'm um, just asking <laughs> for this to be <laughs> happening. Spencer, I'm sorry you had to see this. You're you're fine. Don't worry about it. Please tell me that's how Jeff initiates sex. You wanna you wanna go on a magic carpet ride? Bingo. Um, Dan, uh, why why don't you? uh, I'll co DM with Spencer. Co DM and you uh, at least you said Dan, go over it with Spencer and you guys together come up with the. uh, you do the intro for wherever we are and oh, set. Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> oh, he did it. Cha- <laughs> Jesus. Let me tell you, that chair's Guys, the wrong height. Nobody yeah. gets a chair, a folding Ikea chair, over an audience like Dan Harmon. Yeah. <laughs> he's crazy, but he's great. Well, th- Padgett, this is your wheelhouse because you're also on an amazing show called Thrilling Adventure Hour where you... Yay! Yeah, with a bunch of people here. Okay. Okay. A bunch of people here. Yeah, they know it. Yeah, I mean, no, we, we're not. Uh. U- we're not using character sheets. We're, we're freestyling this. This is the origin story of, of uh, Paget uh, Curtis's character is Doctor Friend. He is a. What, would you want to describe your character to her briefly? To the Please. Ex- to the extent that I understand it. <laughs> oh, 
thank you. Uh, okay. Doctor Friend, and I don't really. Doctor Friend is uh, a part of the gang. He is a medical man, but he's a medical man who is disturbed, and he has a past. Okay. But no one really knows what that is. Okay. And among the things that he's done uh, in the course of this is he has powers that he can he can use on people like. Um, uh, no, 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 wait a minute. I'll tell you. Oh, my God. Get, if um, there's a files, I want to file. He does things like he can do he can do healing powers. Healing. So in the course of one of our, our adventures, if we if we get hurt, if somebody gets hurt and is you dying, can, you can You have a I healing heal power. Yeah. Right. And uh, and, and that uh, everybody has powers of some kind. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a magical world pageant, but it's also the future, so it's, te it's technological, but there's also spells and magic, so it's like the future. And a lot of criminal okay. activity. Yeah. And, and, yeah. Also, and also tonight it's Seattle. It's I have no file, so no. I have no power. No, well, tonight <laughs> is right just now. focused right. on the mysterious past of pa Dr. Right Friends. now, because now this is, this is backstory, so none of us are going to be playing we don't our know No one is going to oh, be. Oh, okay. You're, you're an even playing field with the rest of us. Only only uh, Curtis knows what his I'm sorry, is. I'm sorry, I'm very competitive, and I want powers and a file. I'm you're, sorry. Patrick, right. you're, you're, you're allowed to be whoever all you your, want. You all your roles will become apparent. It's a special one-off episode. We're exploring the origins of a, of a character. So, so Spencer, what what year is it when we're normally playing Shadowrun? Uh, 2074. Okay, and how old, how old do we think Dr. Friend is? Oh, he's a good, I don't know, uh, 27. <laughs> What's 2074 minus 27? Did. Yep. <laughs> what, what'd somebody say? 36. 36? 46. 2046. Our story begins in 2046 A.D. at Baltimore General Hospital. <laughs> Ivy overruns the decrepit building, which has not been the same since the fall of the hospital and the healthcare program. Still, patients are served here, but they're never happy to be served. <laughs> They only ha have to be. We move through the front doors of the hospital and down the decrepit halls and start to pick up the wails of a woman giving birth. We enter the delivery room, certainly not the most uh, sterile one we've ever seen. That's right. Keep going. Keep going. Breathe. Push. I, Push. I'm afraid, Mark. Why? I've never done this before, you asshole. <laughs> Why am I afraid? It's all right. We're in the hospital. People are looking after us. Nothing can go wrong. Nothing Come on. Can, look, do you, have you heard from my sister? No. No, I've tried to reach her, but there's no answer on, oh, her, on her, her, her chip phone. She's, she's always so wild, always trying to find a good time, always giving wigs to men she's having casual sexual relationships with. I'm just, if you hear from Anastasia, just tell her to get here now. She's, I'll she, try her again. It's all I can do. Dr. Gerber, Dr. Gerber, Anastasia in room one. Anastasia's here. Keep Dr. pushing. Gerber. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Gerber. <laughs> there was a... Uh, yes. uh, no, 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 Curtis, this is, this, is tw this is when you were born. This is 27 oh, years I'm old. I'm yeah. yeah. thing. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. This is, this is 20 totally misunderstood. Tw 27 years earlier. I'm in there. 27 years I earlier. don't have to worry Wait, did about... Did I blow it? Okay. Did I blow it? No, no, no. You were right. I was wrong. What? I, I thought I was still Dr. Friend. And in fact, I'm still <laughs> someone who knows I'm in there. the pregnant woman giving birth. No, no, I'm the baby. I'm in there. What? I'm oh. in there. He's I'm in here. In there. So I Do need a man to play your dad. So now, Dr. I Goober, am the doctor. Dr. Goober, I am. Dr. Oh Goober. my God, Dr. Improv Goober, get, get in my office. So I want wrong. you in my office right now, Dr. Goober. <laughs> What's wrong? What Do have I done, Dr. Goober? What have you done? What haven't you done? Don't you realize that you're the brother of the person who is the father of the child you're delivering oh, right oh, now? Oh, oh, that's good. <laughs> It's Anastasia. I'm, I'm a drunk intern. Anastasia. I don't get it. I Where thought you, you knocked me 
up. I got a baby that's <laughs> gonna be the brother of that baby. I don't care whose baby it is. All I know is it's gonna look a lot like that doctor right there. No, no, listen to me, Anastasia. Dr. Gerber. Anastasia, what happened to us was a long time ago. But that's it in the meant, history. No, it was like and nine the last months thing, ago. The la- okay. Calling the last Dr. Craig Kakowski. We need help in long form improv. <laughs> stats. Calling Dr. Craig Kakowski. Our long form improv is in, it is in critical it's condition. I don't critical know. condition. Dr. Kakowski. Paging Dr. Kakowski. <laughs> Dr. Kakowski. Yes, I was playing golf. Uh, what can I do? Uh, well, uh, the. Uh, <laughs> We, we've got a, we've got a, we've got a patient here in 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 crisis, uh, and I I thought I knew what I was doing. Patient in crisis. <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys, I'm an orderly. You'll never see me again. <laughs> I'm, I'm interrupting this very focused scene about the origin of a character to let you know that at this point in future sci-fi history, <laughs> some big shit is happening. Forrest Gump style on the t- televiewer. Look. They all look to the TV <laughs> to see a, a news report about something. Dr. Kukowski. Well, it oh. seems that Vitas <laughs> is back again. It's swaving the nation faster than ever before. We got babies turned left ways, Babies turned down ways and adults turned back ways. It's an ugly world. You got to not touch anybody. Don't even bother washing your hands. Cut off your hands. Wash the stumps. We're talking VTOS. It's back, baby. I'm out of here. Have you guys made sure that your baby is, please don't be offended by this, but human? Oh, God, please. Look, someone, someone take this uh, metal card with a number sketched on it. Officer Gerber, your brother's number is listed there. If you could get in touch with him. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll have a look at that number, <laughs> if I could. Obama? <laughs> look, no one, no, one, no one trusts you since the uh, pickle scandal of 2014. Oh. <laughs> well... You know, I believe 40, that pickle 40. scandal was a little later than yes, that. Yes, it yeah. was. Ah, ah, oh, these, uh, this epidural. That's fine. Uh, we've got a quality. Here we go. I. I. Strangely enough. Uh, we've got I an emergency beat breach birth. Oh, good God, it's Something's hideous. Something's come out. We don't know what it is. It's no, it's an orderly that was just hanging out beneath and I just <laughs> cut his throat. <laughs> God damn it, I'm a long form improv doctor and not, a, not an OBGYN. I also don't know if you can save this. Six years later, at the friend household. It's a shame. <laughs> What's a shame, Mom? That long form improv. It's a shame. They I- tried. I've heard you talk about that sometimes, but you never really explain it. Because I don't want to talk about all of it, son. Hey. Well, even a little bit would Baby, be I think he's old enough. <laughs> he is old enough to hear the story of how Obama came to the hospital <laughs> and you slit the throat of a ghost orderly. He is old enough. That has been distilled grandson into a sentence. Grandson, it's your grandfather. You, would, would you come out on the porch with me a moment? I just want to have a talk with you. Well, sure, sure, Gramp. Oh, yeah. by, by the way, in the background, cars are flying. <laughs> That's never going to goddamn happen. Grandson, I, what I won't be around a whole much longer. Oh, oh these damned flying cars. I, I, I did, when I was a boy, there was no... We had pickles until that horrible scandal came along. And I want to tell you this before I pass along, son. Okay. I want you to follow in my footsteps and be a doctor. However, you do understand that you're not like other people, boy. What do you mean? Have you ever noticed anything weird happen to you at night when you're laying in bed all alone? <laughs> yeah. Five months earlier... Come on, come on, Ru- Rudy. <laughs> you 
Here, boy. Here, boy. There's nothing there. There's nothing. Oh, no, no, no. oh no, there, no, there is. There is. There is. You have to be injured. 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 Honey, it's oh. time to go to bed. Oh, no, but it's... Look at Rudy. There's something wrong. He got his leg caught in a trap. Honey, Rudy's an old dog. No, no he's, he's not. Young, young, young. I can heal him. You is young man, too young. Man, 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 man. You, ah! what in the, you have the power to heal. Uh, what you, you, in you, the you, world? You, you, you have the power to heal. Heal, 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 heal. Honey, heal, heal. go to bed. Everything's fine. Rudy's fine. So I no, I healed him. Grandson, b- back to the present. So right. grandson, remember that time you healed the dog with your mind? Yes. I do remember it, but I thought it was all a dream. It wasn't a dream, and we're not all light. That's horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're real that. people. We're here right now. I want to make one agreement with you, son. Okay. Grandson, that is. You were, you were contaminated at birth by Vtox, and you're, you're going to suffer some very special skills and some very special, special detriments. Inside Pappy's chest, his heart beats heavier and heavier. Boom, boom. Oh, oh, I'm dying. <laughs> don't heal me, boy. Don't heal me. Let it, let, let it happen naturally. Boom, boom. Let it, I don't, oh. Oh, I see that look but in your eyes, grandson. I see that look. But no. Oh, oh, oh. Cut to agony. Agony. A doctor explains Vtox. <laughs> Completely lethal. It'll kill you in a hundred percent of situations. Unless maybe some crazy shit is in your genes, like you have troll stuff. I'm a doctor. <laughs> Does, uh, Cambridge bells fade up on the scene of uh, friend's grandpa dying, and we dissolve to the now not perfectly manicured lawns of an Ivy League medical school. <coughs> well, crows and ravens are, are more prominent now than the kegs and date rapes of old. <laughs> no, it's, it's good. Well, it's good Dad? <laughs> there's a couple ways the future will be better. <laughs> there's, there's more education there's more, uh, into, put into this. Like, sex ed is no longer about just what, what diseases you can get. We actually tell kids before they get horny about consent. Okay, so we zoom in on a medical proscenium and, and into a, 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 a medical, the medical class. Son, I'm here to show you the medical college you should go to. And so, what do you think? <laughs> there, there, corpses. Hey, friend, it's real weird we have to watch these meetings, right? I know. Jeez. I just want my son to pick the best college, Princeton, <laughs> Harvard, uh, Yale. All right, okay. Thank you, Mrs. Friend. And I think that will put an end to Parents' Day here at medical school. <laughs> if so that's what you say. Always been... I, I never approved of it. It feels weird. Now... As we were saying, how does nanotechnology affect the human condition? And what is human after all? (laughs) Mr. Friend, perhaps you'd be more willing to answer that, or does your troll nature confuse the issue? Friend, whispers about friend, whispers about friend. Not good enough. Weird. He's a weird guy. The camera pushes through those students and lands on a troll like Dr. Friend, now 21 years old. From inside, from inside his mind, a voice speaks. Uh, yeah. Trust your instincts, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> the, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know do, do you, like, you like french fries, Doc? <laughs> Trust your instincts, Doc. My troll DNA has nothing to do with my work as a doctor. Oh, really? We have ourselves a, a protege. Uh, 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 wait, what do you call it? Uh, prodigy. prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> I 
you spent the year teaching I'm, I'm in France. The, I'm your protege. Yeah, you, get out of here, Dave. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please, I think this could be a teachable moment here at Hologram John F. Kennedy Ivy League <laughs> Medical School for the surgical and nanotechnological arts. Please do indulge us, the world's first troll surgeon. <gasps> what <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What do you <laughs> feel about Helmonson's law regarding the inefficacy of nanotechnological devices in the bloodstream? Inefficacy, good word. Dana, also out, this is not English. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, do worry. We were having tea in the hole. Also, you, Mrs. Stevenson. Oh, I don't doctor, care how much doctor, I'm doctor, behind doctor, on my rent. Doctor, doctor, I would love professor, to... Professor, professor, do I you mean you... to tell me that you're going to let a troll person get up and tell me about nanotechnology? Uh, yes. What? You all have to start listening. Ooh, it's sweet. a new world. <laughs> Trolls are every bit as worthy and acceptable <laughs> as doctors <laughs> as... Any of the rest of you. Do <laughs> true. And I'm going to prove it. Pertinence. He will. As, as Friend speaks, sweat uh, drips from his armpits in a way that is inhuman and it creates puddles beneath him. <laughs> well, perhaps before you advise us on our physiology, you should manage your own. Look at the puddles. <laughs> but he's not wrong. Look at the puddles. You'll have to work much harder, or the world will have to get much worse oh, before don't you're worry. successful. <laughs> just just don't as this conversation worry. is happening, <laughs> I'll work harder, <laughs> and you'll regret this <laughs> as long as you live. <laughs> 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 The professor's face begins to melt like butter in a microwave. Ah, Dripping ah, to the ground. Agony. Beautiful. Agony. Oh, agony. Beautiful. Blood goes into a signature that says Dr. Friend. Cut to 2000 two something, but it's a courtroom. It's a futuristic courtroom. Dr. Friend is in shackles facing a, 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 a hologram of a judge. Dr. Friend, Dr. Friend, oh. <laughs> 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 um, is it in fact your contention <laughs> that um, <laughs> you have the power of the mind at your will as a healing device uh, 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 I'm reminded, of course, of the story of a child who had a mere human cold, which has been eradicated for some decades. Uh, but his parents thought that they could, through Christian science and the, the word of God, heal this young man and did not give him syrup of Ipecac or Sudafed or whatever crude inventions they had at that time. Um, is it possible that you, as a, a, a non-human doctor, claim to understand the human you know, workings uh, that were first uh, profligated by Von Leeuwenhoek and his microscope? Your Honor, is there that a you... question for my clients? Uh, yes. The question yes, out of, is... Out of order, uh, the question is... Prosecutor Sanders, uh, we've asked this many times before, if you could... Please rephrase your uh, monologues into a single sentence. Objection, Your Honor. And I, I don't I, I don't think she knew what she was going to say after she said Prosecutor Sanders. <laughs> uh, orderly <laughs> asshole. Oh, oh shit. Ah! <laughs> well, now, Miss Emily. Hold on. Your objection was about me not knowing what I was going to say in an improvised sketch? Don't take it personally. <laughs> as I'm not, I I'm not, I'm just a, I'm just a loyal, as the Latinos would say, abogado in a three-dimensional situation. But we have added a fourth dimension and a fifth dimension, and I'm reminded of Sophocles, who once said, "Good Lord, how is a person to defend themselves when as they don't know their own enemy?" As this, as this courtroom drama is unfolding, a, a, a weird green vapor starts filling up the courtroom from underneath the cracks in the doors. <laughs> Spencer? Uh, yes. Yes, Jeff. Tell him about the gases coming into the room. Oh, it, it's... There's gas. 
Peggy As Spencer. a court a stenographer, I'm sorry to weigh in on the record, but something's wrong with the gas coming from the flower. <laughs> the gas, the gas itself flows from amorphous, diaphanous to uh, solid and taking form. I'm typing as fast as I can. I'm just a jury member, but I tell you what, this gas makes me want to say everything I never did. <laughs> I wish I would have taken a bath and a, gr a barrel of flour. One by one. I wish I would have hit a man with my car. One by one, people from the back of the courtroom start dropping dead and suffocating from just green vapor em emanating through the room. And I'm ah! out! And while it's happening, because it's such dramatic juxtaposition, Dr. Friend, as if he's not the one making it happen, gives his final argument about himself. I am a troll, but I'm more than just a troll. I'm a troll who cares deeply about all species. Typical troll. You all. Objection, Your Honor. People are interrupting his monologue right now. It's. They're right. We're interrupting. It's in my head. At this time, in this day, in this. I. I was adopted. I just realized. From a woman in Oklahoma. I'm adopted. My father is Nigerian. And you're all, all of you, going to regret this day because I'm going to right now clear the green fog from this room just before you die, and then you're going to see the sort of. Obamacare. Troll I am. Obamacare. As your lawyer, I would have been Obamacare. appreciated being brought in on this strategy. <laughs> <laughs> As the green flog clears, there is nothing left but a sea, or galley as they call it. Gallery? What do they call it in the courtroom? Protégé. Protégé? Gallery. Protégé. Protégé? Sabotage. I'm uh, A only... sea of corpses. Corpses. I'm a lowly court stenographer, but I know corpse, from corpse, going to college it's a galley of dead people. Either and way I, you look at it, as a, as, as a Harvard graduate... You're alive! It's a bit surprising that, that uh, uh, a troll would surprise me with science. <laughs> Wait, I as a, a tall more. man or a black man? Well, you know, um, I'm, I'm part a of troll. a lot of, of all qualities, but really the thing is, is it's a science. Is As Dr. Friend sli slips out the courtroom doors, we crane shot on the conversation between those two characters who are immune to green gas. <laughs> Cut to a ro Rolling Stones cue blares as we cut to the inside of a cyber tavern. Just to Dr. clarify, Dr. Friend did not save those people. No, everyone died. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I'll never stop. <laughs> Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm, I'm the overused Rolling Stones cue. I'm the song that's used every time you Yeah, it's like $45,000 every time you use it. Because my husband's a composer. The camera pushes down the bar as visit holograms uh, inform us of the state of the new world. The dragon president has been assassinated. BTL chips are infected with v VRL viral, viral nanos. Uh, 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 women are equal. Uh, <laughs> ah! That's the sci-fi future. Um, Everything's insane. Women are equal. Uh, everyone has agency. But in sci-fi. As your new uh, 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 president, Do it. Um, Herman uh, Kane. <laughs> You know, folks once asked me, uh, what would I do did I, if I did not win this election? And I said I would make mayonnaise. Uh, Woo! In fact, I did win the presidency, and I'm still going to make mayonnaise. I am reminded of the movie motion picture Officer and a Gentleman, uh, in which Richard Gere's character's name was Mayo, but his nickname was Mayonnaise. We arrive at a lone doctor's friend. Now fully troll, now fully alone. He nurses his indescript drink through troll lips. 
and mutters to himself dramatically. <laughs> it's you, you, Curtis. You're oh, it's me. I wonder, if, I wonder if I'll ever get over the guilt that I feel for not having cured all of those people in the courtroom. Why can not you save me? <laughs> Your indescript wounds haunt you. You know, you know what? You, the thing is, Obamacare, Doc. Obamacare. And french fries. Do you like them? You haven't fixed anything. You talking about saving people? The camera swivels to reveal a trench coat cloaked troll of a different age <laughs> nursing his own drink. Bastard, bastard, bastard. He knocks back the glass with the air of an old school drunk <laughs> before turning his yellow gaze on his racial compatriot. Foomp! Fuck people. Fuck them all. What do you mean? <laughs> what, how many favors have they done you? Did they cure you? Do they give a fuck whether you live or die, doctor? No, they didn't. My name is Detective Emil Trollinger. Of Emil Trollinger, Trollinger, Trollinger. It's a German name, but I was originally Jewish. Jewish, Jewish, Jewish. Think about how that feels. Feels, feels. We cut I, to the moment when he became German and not Jewish. <laughs> or uh, not. Uh, what, 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 why is Ellis Island still open? So embarrassing, embarrassing, what the fuck? embarrassing. Why do I have to? <laughs> well, we were working on some sort of trap. Uh, shit. Cut back. Shit, 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 shit. Listen, what, are you, what are you saying to me? I'm saying to you that this world we used to think was a world is the world we thought came after this world. This is hell, my friend, and it's divided into two groups of people. People who give a fuck and people who live to see tomorrow. Give a fuck, see tomorrow. Oh, give a yeah. fuck, see tomorrow. My name is Detective yeah. Trollinger. Yeah. Trollinger, Trollinger, Trollinger. I used to be a cop until I became a fucking troll. A fucking troll, a fucking troll, a fucking troll. Fucking troll. Fucking now troll. I organize <laughs> shadow runs <laughs> for shadow runners. If you call or visit text this number, you could get involved in that world. Complicated, complicated, complicated. Visit text is bullshit. I don't get yeah, it. Yeah, why wouldn't you just... <laughs> Those voices yeah. you're hearing are call, what the troll community calls the inner critic. Don't deny me. Don't deny me. Don't I'm totally you, you know, you, you know the, thing, the thing that... Uh, the, uh, what I like the most is, uh, is, is ice cream, Doc. I like to go to Martha's well, Favorite. One of get the, a vanilla one of the troll voices is just Obama <laughs> just, just, talking just about do, it. Just do my best. <laughs> That's our curse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Trollinger, Trollinger, you going to order something? Hey, I'm I trying to run a cyber tavern here. Hey, what are you looking at? Where's the, where's the horseshoe? <laughs> um, I'll yeah. take double what I had on the side of the hair. <laughs> Trollinger? What are you talking about? I have about? worked what are you talking about? very hard to achieve something in my life, and I've been knocked down every time I stood up. Oh, well, you must be the only one. Sound of my eyes rolling so far back, they roll back around <laughs> and came up from the bottom and are forever owed one rotation. As Trollinger says this, he starts to feel his heart beat harder uh, and harder. Uh, boom, boom. Funny thing about boom, boom. troll bodies. Oh, no. They bum, can take bum. a punch, but uh -uh. not from bum, God bum. or Hitler. Bum, bum. <laughs> Bum, bum. Do me a favor, Doc. Bum. Don't save me. Bum. Don't save me. Bum. Okay. This is bum. no life. I won't. Maybe. Bum. You know. Maybe. maybe no. Maybe, wait. Maybe you break the rule this time. That goes against my code. I have to save you. I can do no harm. <laughs> maybe. Oh, you're a hypocritic. Huh? Oh, it's a. Uh... Oh my God, Julie, did I hear you say Hippocratic Oath? Hippocratic Oath. Oh my God, I love their first album. Uh, they're no, so seriously. Fun. 
when I was studying nursing, yeah. Hippocratic oath, bitch. Oh my like, god! First of all, when thing. you started, I just want to say, like, you know, you know it, right? I just want to say, you always shit on your haircut when you started nursing, but seriously, it was so cute. Oh my god! But it's totally really fair. Like, Somebody know. save that man! He's dying over there. There's a man dying in the bar. Back no, to no, the no. present. We're totally At Hank's fine. last yeah. stand, what? where Dr. Friend was revealing his past to the gang. We're just being nurses. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> we follow. We fucking do shit all day. All day long. So and sometimes you guys we fucking know. hang out and talk about shoes. I yeah. Fuck you. Effect. What do you do? Yes. Do you save lives? Meanwhile, no. in the future. My purse is made the of tequila. Uh, maybe, maybe, and uh, a goddamn uh, board uh, game? We like do save something lives. something with agony and save as, this guy. As do the nurses continue talking. <laughs> it's we crazy. move from the oh, planet into the vacuum of space now because yeah. we're and women. slowly to we the center of a universe sure, 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 sure. where God <laughs> and Hitler well, float in the center of all reality. And they're watching a sitcom about two nurses I'm called... I'm silent. Called I'm a female. I'm silent. <laughs> God and Hitler are watching a sitcom <laughs> called per- Hitler Purse for Purse. <laughs> this day to pay off. They live on the Upper East Side, and they have girlfriends, and they're gross. And we're crazy, but not really. Hitler's hand reaches out with a remote. God's closes over the top really? of it, stopping really? him. Really? Really? Don't, Hitler. I just have a problem with the way you treat yourself. I feel like he treats himself so badly. Wait, me or I him? Me or your you, husband? Both of you, but you more. Okay, I know. Just it's spin bad. off cliffhanger! <laughs> <laughs> that has been Harmon Town. Craig Kikowski, everybody. Demoge Brown. Aaron McGathy, Spencer Crittenden, I'm Jeff Davis. Curtis Armstrong, everybody. Paget Brewster. And your mayor, Mr. Dan Harmon, and uh, Chris Perup, and Sarah Hill, and Zach McKeever, who are back there doing all the technical shit every week. Chris and Sarah are doing the uh, live streaming stuff. Earthshine James for laying down the sexy booze on us. Why yeah, for hunting down Curtis court. on the streets. I think we did it. Did you get any of that? It's a good show.